Good morning, everyone. This is Lois Banks coming to you from Lois Banks Ministry. I'm sitting on my porch trying to pull in some gentle uh, sunlight. So that's why you will always either see me with a top that exposes the top part of my chest um, or a bathing suit top so I can absorb the fresh uh, sunlight, get that solar uh, energy. And I have on a top today that uh, goes um, around my shoulders. That way I can soak up um some fresh uh solar energy so my body curate can create a uh, vitamin d but anywho god wants me to talk about um meat and um the whole purpose why he gave man permission to eat meat and then what happens to the body when people eat uh too much meat so we're going to go back to the book of genesis where God creates the garden. That was the original nutritional plan for Adam and Eve and for humanity. And um, this original plan gave uh, humans um, the ability to walk in divine health along with um, a spiritual connection and a powerful connection uh, with the creator of the universe who is God himself okay but you know Adam and Eve fell in the garden they listened to Satan they ate something they weren't supposed to be eating and they didn't listen to the instructions of God and they fell not literally falling on the ground but they fell from the power of God they fell from the healing of God they just fell from all the goodness of God because of their disobedience. So what did God do? He kicked them out the garden. He got kicked out from their home because of their disobedience. And God didn't want them to go back and eat <clears throat> a certain uh, type of food and live forever with that sin in their body. They had to, God had to bring Jesus on the earth to reconcile humanity uh, back to the Father. Okay? So anyway, they get Adam and Eve get kicked out of the garden. So now they're kicked out of the garden. They uh, curses on them. They got to toil and sweat, work really hard to grow food so they can get something to eat and all this kind of stuff. I mean, they just really, really messed up. So anyway, the earth is covered in sin. There's all kinds of uh, horrible stuff going on. And God is saying, you know what? I'm just so tired of humanity. They're just so wicked and evil. Their heart always thinks of evil continually. So I am <clears throat> going to get rid of them, with, you know, through the flood, the animals, everybody. But God saved Noah and his family, okay? So God tells Noah to build his ark and tell him how long and how wide the ark's supposed to be. And and it's supposed to be big enough to bring in all different types of animals. And so, you know, be, uh, Noah's being obedient. He's doing what God is telling him to do. Well, after the flood and after everything was destroyed on the earth, here God said to Noah, man's heart is always thinking wicked continually i'm going to give you permission to eat meat because i'm going to shorten the lifespan of man to 120 years so before meat consumption man could live a long period of time just on fruits vegetables nuts and grains and seeds okay and um, that was the original nutritional plan for humanity. Kept the body together, no sickness, no disease. Well, God gave no permission to eat meat. And then when you turn to the book of Leviticus, God gives instructions on what type of meat people can eat and what not to eat. So here comes Satan again because he's mad now. He's mad. Satan comes and he twists what God says. Satan always twists the word of God, always. 
So man is eating meat. Oh my goodness, it's good. They don't eat it all the time and they don't eat it every day. Okay, but they're eating it. But here comes Satan. He creates this food pyramid. And in the food pyramid created by Satan's children, there's instructions in the pyramid to eat meat three times a day. Okay? So what does the meat do? Instead of shortening man's life to 120 years, it shortens man's life down to 60 and 50 and 20 and... In, in, in 70s and 80s because it's too much meat eating. The byproduct of meat eating is uric acid. Uric acid creates a lot of acid inside of the body, which destroys the body, all of the organs. It puts, um, it messes with the pH balance because now people are more acidic. It creates bone diseases, all kinds of diseases. The uric acid just opens up the body to all types of sicknesses and diseases. Yes, I understand. Your church has never taught you this. But it's in the Bible. So if your church never taught you this, read your word. Study to show yourself approved. Because God has a lot to say about nutrition. Pay attention to what God is saying. Okay, so here's humanity eating meat three times a day, enjoying the meat, enjoying goo gobs of meat, not knowing that they are creating a slow death inside of their body. They start hair start falling out, they start getting uh diseases, and they start getting. MS, they start getting lupus, they start getting, you know, colds and flus, and um, they, their, their immune system's not strong anymore, and they, they just start getting all these diseases. It's because you're eating too much meat. You have to learn to stop listening to Satan. Stop listening to him. And I do know, as a licensed nurse, that meat is a drug. It acts like a drug. And many people need deliverance. Because when you try to stop eating the meat, you start having meat withdrawals. It acts just like cocaine. It acts just like alcohol. Your body start calling out for the meat. Because it wants that meat. But you're going to have to learn how to Control your, your, your flesh. Go on a fast. Ask God to help you break the meat habit, the meat addiction. Lay that meat on the altar. You are supposed to be in control of your spirit. Okay? You're not supposed to let your body control you. And once you get your deliverance, don't go back. Don't go back. To the heavy meat eating again because you'll just make sickness and disease worse inside of your body okay you need deliverance if you can't put the meat down because it tastes so good that means you are addicted to it you are addicted to meat and w once you get over the addiction you're going to see your body line back up to divine health when you begin to eat clean foods without the chemicals. And now, because the wheat is harvested so different now, we have to eat the meat gluten-free. You can't have no gluten in the in the wheat now. You see, in biblical times, the meat was the uh the wheat was harvested the way that God told humanity to harvest wheat. Now it's so genetically modified and, and everything. You have to get the gluten-free wheat now. But when you start eating, like God told you to eat at the beginning of the Bible in the book of Genesis, you will see your body line back up to divine health. Okay? I just want to make sure I share that with you. 
cancers will dissolve when you eat the way God tells you to eat. Um, MS will come out your body when you eat the way God tells you to eat. Um, lupus will come out your body when you eat the way God tells you to eat. Every sickness and disease known to humanity will reverse itself when you line up to the word of God. And eat like God told you to eat. God, God created your body to heal itself when you give it the right essential nu nutrients. Okay? Which is found in the book of Genesis. Remember when God made that garden? He had, Everything in that garden came from a seed. You must eat foods from a seed. And what you need to do is you need to be growing foods that come from a seed that way you won't be forced to eat genetically modified food when the united states government tries to do away with all foods that come from a seed and uh speaking of a seed i already know that apricot seeds cures cancer god has already revealed that to me and uh, cures for diseases are found in seeds that God has created. So now I'm researching and I'm looking up the um, what's going on, the healing benefits from a date seed. Since I know that apricot seeds kills cancer cells, now I'm curious as a nurse what does date seeds cure so far i haven't found a lot of research on it but the spirit of god is going to teach me about it see that's one thing i like about god you never stop learning with god you keep growing and growing and growing and i know there's a cure in here there's some type of cure inside of this date seed so what i'm going to do is i am going to let this date seed dry out because it's so hard and I ordered a special uh, nut grinder. I have a seed grinder uh, in my house that, you know, that grinds sesame seed and flax seeds. But I needed a nut grinder. So I'm going to let this uh, date seed dry out first, you know. And then I am going to use my nut grinder to grind it up into fine, fine, fine little pieces. And then I'll add it to my breakfast smoothie to learn the health benefits of what's inside of this seed. Okay. You know, God gives us his word and then it's up to humanity to seek it out. We got to seek out and discover what's inside of God's word. That's our part. And for many of you who don't know, I have a scientific mind. I'm such a nerd. I am such a science geek. I love science. My house is a laboratory of experiments. So, and it's all good because we're just talking about food. We ain't talking about nothing serious. We're talking about food. But there is power in the food that God created. And I'm going to unlock all the secrets. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to unlock it as the Lord leads me. <clears throat> so, I just wanted to uh, share that uh, with you. And to encourage everyone to... If you're going to believe the Bible, believe the Bible for real. Don't just half believe it and half apply it. Apply the word of God in its fullness so you can reap the benefits of the promises of God. This is Lois Banks coming to you from the Lois Banks ministry. God loves you. I love you. And Jesus is Lord.